And I'm back again. Uh, so this week at work, uh, there is uh, uh, another person who works in my store uh, in a different department. Uh, and she was talking about uh, something that happened to her. Or yes, rather, I overheard her talking to two of her uh, friends in the break room. And uh, she said that she had this job interview uh, coming up and when the other people said something like, uh, hopefully you go to this job interview and not like the last time when you had a panic attack. Uh, and the, the other uh, person was like, you had a panic attack? And and she said yes and talked about it a little, about how uh, she was all set to go to uh, this job interview, but then had this panic attack and and end up not going. Uh, and it was with a different company uh, than the the job interview she just got. So <laughs> yeah, yeah, and that got me thinking about my anxiety and whether or not I've had a panic attack or an anxiety attack. <coughs> and, and yeah, yeah, I, I, I know I have exact anxiety and I struggle with that sometimes, but I don't think I ever had a full blown panic attack. And I think if I did have one, I would remember having it. But I, I looked online about panic attacks, and and they say the symptoms are pounding heart, sweating, trembling or shaking uncontrollably, shortness of breath, uh, a choking sensation, chest pain, nausea or abdominal discomfort, jelly legs, dizziness, feel, fear of losing control or going crazy, fear of dying, numbness or tingling sensations, uh, chills or hot flashes. I've had many of those symptoms, but not really all at once. And I think there's other reasons that can explain them. And the way they explain uh, the, the uh, panic attacks are just uh, becoming suddenly overcome by intense fear or discomfort for no apparent reason. Uh, and if I were to think back over all the times I've had some of these symptoms, um, I I could probably come up for um, a reason to have uh, the symptoms, uh, like for the the jelly leg. I've I I know I know I've had that feeling before, like. If, feels like your, your your legs can't support you anymore and you might fall and I usually get that feeling if I have to uh, speak to someone or more more than one person at the same time like if I have something important and I have to discuss with them 
I'll, I'll sometimes get that feeling. If I have to speak in front of a crowd, like in school, if I, if I had to get up in front of the class and speak, then I would always get that feeling, I know. Even if it's just uh, talking to someone in private, I'll experience some of these symptoms. And then there's chest pain. Um, I said uh, in a vlog uh, probably a year ago now uh, that that uh, I did get this squeezing sensation in my chest and I w went to the doctors uh, and and uh, they said that it was uh, probably a fluke caused by uh, my bad acid, acid reflux that I get, uh, or uh, caused by the medicine that I take um, to control the acid reflux. Uh, it, it only happened once, uh, but didn't feel good, and uh, that also uh, contributed to the fear fear of dying that I had, because yeah, squeezing sensation in the chest area uh, does make it feel like you're dying so yeah and I did have that uh, problem uh, the fear of dying for a little while after I had the, the squeezing sensation feeling dizzy lightheaded or faint yeah, yeah, I felt that, but it usually just goes away if I uh, stand still for a little bit or have a, uh, some water to drink. It doesn't last too long. Uh, and, and then there's also what they describe as derealization, derealization, wow, that's a hard word to say, derealization, feelings of unreality, or depersonalization, being detached from oneself. That's a, one symptom of a panic attack. Sounds weird, but it kind of sounds like like uh, what I have felt like like just sometimes I'll look at something that I've seen a million times before like like I don't like maybe a book or or uh, uh, a tree or even an animal and I'll look at it and and it would just kind of feel like I'm looking at it for the very first time even though I've seen it a million times before and it, it just doesn't look right to me for some reason. I don't, know, I don't know, maybe it's the lighting that's in, or I'm looking at it at a different angle or something, but it just, just looks off to me for no reason. And I can't explain why. And uh, this website that I'm on, uh, I'll 
I think I'll put a link to it in the, the description below. Um, it says that the panic attack reaches a peak within minutes and it includes at least four of these symptoms, the, the ones that I've mentioned. So yeah, I've experienced more than four of these symptoms uh, in my life, but I don't think I've ever experienced all four or more uh, at, at the same exact time and and that's really what makes it a panic attack uh, having all the symptoms at the same time uh, so yeah yeah that's uh, why I don't believe I've had a panic attacks, but uh, or anxiety attacks, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I know for sure I've uh, uh, that I've dealt with anxiety and continue to deal with it, um, and. You know, just because I haven't had a panic attack so far doesn't mean that I uh, won't in the future. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. Who knows? But yeah, uh, yeah. Like I, I know uh, that people, some people who experience uh, anxiety attacks get rushed to the hospital because they think it's uh, something else like a heart attack or uh, uh, something else that's causing them to die but they're not actually dying so yeah that's never happened to me hopefully it won't but who knows and there, there's been cases for me where I've been somewhere and I just don't want to be there anymore so I I get this uh, feeling of anxiety that uh, just makes me want to leave as soon as I can uh, but it's it's not strong enough to cause me to think that um, I'm dying or or that something's wrong with me it, it, but it's different for every person who has to deal with anxiety like for the gal I overheard talking about her panic attack uh, and for me we both in experience anxiety but in different ways yeah every person is different <laughs> and yeah that's all i got for this vlog so until next video uh, goodbye <laughs>